Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you a new plugin, a new AUV free effect called Mantis from AudioThing. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And also, if you would like to participate to give away, please do check the instruction in the video description and check that uh, the giveaway is still running, i.e. the winners have not been announced, which you can find again in the video description. Thank you. Okay, so what is Mantis? Mantis is a nice emulation of uh, a BBD or Bucket Brigade device um, delay echo um, unit from the 70s. And it gives you that nice, warm, analog uh, uh, sound that you would expect from that traditional um, BBD circuit. Um, it's uh, an interesting emulation. It adds a little bit uh, to the uh, traditional unit as you have here a modern mode which allows you to change um, or enhance the bass delay up to one second, which you couldn't do in the original device. But um, let's listen a little bit to what it does. And uh, in doing that, I'll show you a little bit the controls and the UI. As you can see, I just have a piano, a grand piano inside a U an audio channel in AUM. Nice and simple. Okay, so let's activate um, Mantis. And let's open it up. Standard UI from AudioThink, really nice. Here you have the selection of preset, factory, and also user banks, really nice. And you have a lot of different effects you can choose, save, delete, preset, and also randomize parameters, which work really, really well in this case. And then you can lock parameters if you change preset. And then you, here you have the uh, menu, which gives you a lot of other options, including soft clip, which uh, I recommend you turn it on and uh, a lot of other um, options that you can use including the about access to the menu to the manual uh, preset copy and paste again lock or unlock all the parameters and then setting also for clearing your buffer etc etc you can bypass it here and then here you have uh, the different controls so starting from here you have um, four tabs under the echo session uh, section which you can enable and then you have uh, four swell selector as well which you can use um, um, to, uh, alongside the echo tabs and um, here you have your rotor phase uh, controls, which uh, you have speed here and depth, which allows you to simulate uh, effectively uh, that wow flutter effect of a tape echo um, effect, but also it gives you the ability to create more of uh, a chorus delay effect. Then here you can decide the level of dry and echo. Here you can adjust the tone, which is effectively is your high frequency. I'll show you that in a moment. The swell and feedback here. You can uh, change the input and output uh, um, signal. Then here you can activate modern or vintage. Uh, here you have your bass delay. You can do the time. And this dark factor is particular adjustment of your low uh, pass filter. And then here you have some noise for which you can also have an envelope and then your aliasing here, your mono and stereo. And then finally, if you uh, deactivate the send, it will not accept any more input, but it will continue the repetition as uh, uh, per previous input or signal uh, through the input. Okay, so let's uh, play a little bit with it. So we are on the init preset, so. I have two tabs activated, so let's activate the others. Now let's uh, remove the dry and I can adjust the echo only in terms of decibel. Be careful of uh, the output, of course, signal. I can adjust the swelling. I can adjust the tone here. And now let's add that wow flutter effect. Let's the speed is quite high. Let's uh, give it some depth. Let's reduce the speed. Can adjust the bass delay. Let's 
no time, of course. You're at low pass filter. You can add some noise. Everything on by envelope. And then you earliest in, of course. And let's set it to stereo. type of reverb effect which is nice and as i said the send here if uh, i keep now uh, playing some keys on my external controller you hear that i deactivate now if i click outside again on the external controller it's not accepting any input and now i reactivate it Okay, so let's uh, hear it with a different type of preset. So let's choose something like, for example, uh, Peeper, like so, and let's connect it to the keyboard and um, let's listen. So first, let's bypass it. And um, let's uh, uh, ensure that we have connected actually to my Akai controller. Now let's try with the effect on. Now increase the speed here of the rotor phase. randomize some parameters. Okay, let's change the, um, let's turn that noise down. Let's change the audio source and let's bring in something like um, Hammerhead, like so. And let's load a preset here from the factory and let's decrease a little bit the volume and let's click play. Of course, you can create some interesting effect. Again, be careful the swelling here setting. Okay, because you can get that really high feedback. Um, let's choose again a different type of uh, pre uh, audio source. Let's go for something uh, uh, like Eisen, which I really like. And um, let's connect it to the external controller. So this is how it sounds without the effect. Okay, let's apply the effect.
Okay, now let's try it with something more like uh, a type of uh, pad. So for these, I'm going to choose uh, something like Terra Pro, like so. And uh, again, connect it to my controller. And let's choose um, um, something from the factory, this 32 filter dome. So, okay. <laughs> Let's try uh, now with the effect on and uh, let's change some of the parameters. some preset as well. actually introduce something on the uh, like a MIDI channel and let's actually search for a chord pad like so and let's create a simple chord progression with some chord like so from the minor scale and then let's add um, something like um, art pad 2 which um, like so, we connect it to um, Core Part 2, like so, and then we define a bit of a pattern, uh, perhaps something uh, like so, uh, and then something like that, uh, like so. And then here, actually, let's reintroduce that piano. Actually, no, let's go for something different. Let's go for Copperhead which I recommend as a synth from Four Pockets. And let's use a sound from um, that, actually, the standard unit one. Uh, the init one is not quite nice. So <laughs> nice that gives you an idea how it sounds with a synth now let's go for something uh, um, different again let's go for this uh, steel guitar pro again let's connect it to my external controller so we can play a little bit <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial and demonstration, and as always, see you next time. Bye.